If you're creating a product demo, tutorial, or video course, then choosing the right screen recording software can make a massive difference. In this video, we're going to dive into Camtasia and Loom, two widely popular screen recording apps, ultimately answering the question, which one should you use? Camtasia is available as a desktop app for both macOS and Windows, whereas Loom is also available as a desktop app for macOS and Windows, but also as a Chrome extension and mobile app. Recording with Loom is extremely easy. You just need to click on the icon, then select your camera and microphone, and then hit start recording. After a few seconds for the countdown, you can record whatever you want to record, and when you're done, you can click stop. Loom will automatically generate a link that you can share then with other people. To record with Camtasia, you can open the app and then click on new recording. Here, we'll need to select our screen, camera, and microphone. And when we are ready, we can click on start. After a few seconds, we can then record whatever we want to record. And when we are done, we can click on the Camtasia icon and then stop recording. From here, we have two options. We can either choose one of the pre-made layouts and export directly, or we can decide to edit inside the Camtasia editor. While Loom offers some basic editing capabilities, Camtasia comes with a powerful built-in video editor. Here you can trim your clips or add text or many other kinds of effects. When it comes to pricing, both come as subscriptions with Loom costing about $15 per month and Camtasia costing about $200 per year, which is about $16 per month. If you're planning to use Camtasia or Loom to create educational content like tutorials and video courses, then let me tell you, I don't think that either of the two is the best tool for the job. My favorite tool to create educational content, it's called Borumi. With Borumi, you can decide the structure of your video in the built-in editor, which is very similar to Notion and Google Docs. Then you can record every scene separately, we're trying as many times as you want. This is very convenient because it allows you to split the recording into smaller chunks, which are much easier to manage. And finally, you can edit the video in the built-in editor. Here you can trim the clips, select nice looking layouts, remove the noise, and much more. And finally, you can export your video, ready to be published to your platform of choice. You can get access to Borumi by visiting borumi.com.